Taurus, welcome to your February overview. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. So in conjunction with this week, I decided to go ahead and release the new love video types. If you like it, if you're into it, if you like the vibe, let me know. Don't be shy. Put it in the comments. Give me a thumbs up, all that. And if it's popular enough, I will put it in a monthly rotation. All right. Thank you. What's going on? What's going <laughs> Show me that monthly overview, please, for February. Show me that monthly overview, please, for February. There you are. Six of Cups. Cool. All right. Show me what I need to see, please, for February. What's going on for February, Taurus? February, Taurus. An overview is exactly that. It could be money. It could be love. It could be sex. I don't know. I could see a combination of those things. Particularly where that Earth energy is concerned, one often affects the other for you. As I saw... Actually, I don't remember. Virgo? <laughs> After a while, they start to merge. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you're doing well. But I don't know what I'm going to see. We shall see. Yeah, that's why we're here. All right? Tara's not just about understanding where we've been or where we are, also where we're going, and how to prevent it if possible. Yeah? What's going on? Take what resonates, leave what does not. If it's not your story, don't force it to fit. Okay, show me those energies, please, for Taurus, February. Taurian energy, please, February. Taurian energy, please, February. Taurian energy, please, February. What's going on for Taurus in February? Ace of Pentacles. Who else? It was also Virgo. Yes, they also kicked it off. Same card, same placement. And, you know, that's very open-ended. It's tangible. It's real. You can wrap your hands around it. This is what I know to be true in my existence. Your energies, you are concerned with, you know, money, career, longevity, any and all those things, honey. But again, with that earth energy, you get that lovely little special twist that it can also involve love. <laughs> you know, because for you, love tends to be a very tangible, I can wrap my hands around a concept. So again, we need to clarify. But it's a nice way to kick it off. All right. What is important for Taurus to understand during the month of February? What is it that Taurus needs to under... Okay. Don't come after me. Like, don't come at... Don't. 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 I that I do remember that. I don't remember much about your new love reading, but the Knight of Pentacles came up. Don't. Like, but then again, you're Taurus, so this probably isn't a surprise to you, so. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles, eh? Baby, you working on your money, and it's going to show. That's what it looks like to me, okay? Um, slowly but surely, making your way to personal stability and personal satisfaction. Nice. Nine of Pentacles. Lovely confident. Uh, it's often equated with being single. You don't have to be, but it kind of has that lovely, I know what I am. I know what I'm about. I know what I'm surrounding myself with what makes me happy. And I'm confident in that. That's why the nine of pentacles is associated with confidence. You see this garden? I put everything in it. Thank you very much. Okay. That's what you are headed towards a sense of lovely, just strong, independent energy. I'm loving it. I'm digging it. It may seem slow, but it's happening. It's, it's lovely. That's happening. You have a goal. You're working towards it. You're getting there. Okay? Lovely. Self-security. Looking to yourself first. Yes? Fears for February. Fears, please, for February. Fears, please, for February. Okay? The Fool. Ah, take a chance or not take a chance. Yes? Ah, Aries Energy. For some of you, April might be a significant marker. Does not have to be. But the fool is that sense of renewal, hope, ambition, right? Leaping off the cliff. And you know what? You don't know if you're going to land safely, but you have a pretty strong idea that you will. Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing it, right? The call, the inclination, the call to the wild. Okay, we just, some of you fear that. Like, fear, I'm not trying to take a risk in anything. Thank you. Do you see my slow, steady progress? Let's keep it that way. <laughs> so some of you fear taking that risk. As to what, we shall see. Okay. Yeah, I know. The risk thing really isn't in, you know, kind of the Torian mindset, but I don't know. Some of you might be trying to dare yourself, and that can, that can cause fear. Daring ourselves can cause fear. It can provoke our fear to try to challenge ourselves, to take a risk, right? And some of you want to take a risk, and that's also causing some fear. What is supporting Taurus? What is supporting Taurus in February? What is supporting Taurus in February, please? What is supporting Taurus in February, please? What supports Taurian energy during February, please? Okay. Oh, Two of Cups. Oh, that's lovely. Your soul bond, your soul contract. Uh, the person whom you are spiritually connected. Oh, that drives you. Oh, that's lovely. So that might be provoking this. Okay. That might be provoking this. 
That makes perfect sense. If you got to take a risk for the one that you love, the one that you are connected to on a soul level, you know, you get your shit sorted, right? I concern myself with my stability, me, myself, and I. I'm working on my offer. Okay, now I got to do this thing, right? It would very you that checklist. I know I've told you that. I've told you this, but right? I'm sure I have. You know, you have that checklist. Okay, check one. Check two. Check three. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> What are your obstacles? What are your obstacles? What are your obstacles, please? What are the Tauruses? Tauruses. What are the obstacles for Tauruses, please? What are the obstacles for Taurus, please? Show me those obstacles, please. Ooh, movement. Oh, see, don't, man, don't, don't come after me. Like, the pacing, it's like chariot, card of cancer. Now, when I pull a power card in the obstacle position, sometimes it can literally be that sign. It does not have to be. Do not take that as, like, law, okay? It's just sometimes it's, like, a strong hint, but it does not have to be. So it could be literally, like, a cancer is your obstacle. <laughs> I've seen that before um, when friends some, or family disapprove of our actions and things like that and uh, they could literally correspond to that sign. I've seen that many times, but it does not have to be. The chariot pacing, you either like it or you don't, right? It's okay when you are moving slowly towards your own goals and your own sense of stability and confidence and, and this is what I have managed to achieve. That makes perfect sense to me. But this, this is a little different. The pacing here is a little faster. The obstacles, maybe something is going too slow and you don't like it. That's a plot twist. Or things are going fast. I'm not trying to give you shit, baby. I love Taurus. I truly love Taurus. It's just, you know, pacing. <laughs> Timing. Timing aspects are critical for Taurus. I understand this. Show me the future outcome of this. I can't wait to break this down. This is interesting, Taurus. It's lovely. It's got stability written on it. It's got some love components written on it. It's got some risk written on it, too, eh? All right. Personally, I always get a little happy when I see the fool. It's like, ooh, new adventure. Yay. You know? But that's me. That may not be you. I don't know. Something about this, though, I feel like your heart race, your heart picks up a little bit here. There's a fear here, but it's like a happy fear. It's almost like you're daring yourself. Show me that future outcome, please. Show me that future outcome, please. Show me that future outcome, please. <clears throat> Excuse me. Show me that future outcome, please. For Taurus. Show me that future outcome, please. Show me that potential future outcome, please, for Taurus. Uh, you already know. The High Priestess. You already know. <laughs> also, the marker of two, I might point out. February. Okay, you already know. I told you. Taurus. Uh, death that's underlying all this. Okay. I need to see that because that can mean so many things. It's not even funny. Okay, the underlying energy, death, also the card of Scorpio. We also have cancer, uh, heavy water energy here, which also coincides with the high priestess, but that's you. I can tell you that right now. That's you. Okay, you already know. There's, co there's confidence here. There's movement here. I need to see this. If someone recently passed away, I'm sorry. That might be what's driving some of this. If you experience lost, it might be motivating you in your own personal world to move things forward. Okay, I need to see that. All right, show me. Mm -hmm. The High Priestess. Yeah. Intuitive. I know. Of course you are. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Taurus. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Taurus. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Taurus. Mm. Okay, you've had to work through some towers to get here. You had to work through some towers to get here. Okay, hopefully they served you. Show me the Ace of Pentacles, please. Show me the Ace of Pentacles, please. That's starting out energy for February. I like it. I'm seeing this or I'm feeling it more like your goal, your personal goal. Ace of Pentacles. Show me the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. The moon. Why are you working through your moon energy? The King of Swords. You have a truth about passion and burdens. Oh my, that's a lot to be doing. <sighs> what you want versus what is manageable. Your moon thoughts versus your actual thoughts. Oh my. Are you being honest with yourself about what it is that you want? Let me know if you're dealing with the Pisces or if you have Pisces in your chart. 
Are you being honest with yourself about what you want? Your goal is real. Don't get me wrong. That's not changing. I see it here. There's that, and then there's what's behind that goal. It's like, oh yes, Ace of Pentacles, that's a great goal. It's all well and good. That's manageable. Okay. But then there's, there is moon energy I feel like you're working through, which is nice for you. I know moon energy isn't terribly comfortable for everybody. I feel like some of you are working through your moon energy. I'm not going to accept all this. I want to narrow this down because these are a lot of vague concepts and I would have to clarify almost every single one of those. Some of you are actively working through your moon energy. Shit that you've never addressed before. You're Some of you are working through it. And that's probably why you're putting off such strong momentum. Some of you are really getting around to your moon energies. Your overdue thoughts. Your overdue private thoughts. Yes? Sometimes in order to walk under the sun, we must walk by the way of the moon first. Show me the Ace of Pentacles. I need a stronger definition, please. It's like, this is what you're presenting. This is my goal to the world. Internally, you're addressing some thoughts, some strong ones. Show me that Ace of Pentacles, please. It's good. It's good work for you. Chariot. Oh, my God. And to say, why, why do you have to pull up everything, Taurus? I, honey, no, we can't do this. I, I, I think I said this in your new love reading. The reason why you get such extended stuff is because stuff ex happens for you over extended periods of time. <sighs> Indecision about moving forward. You're still working through it. You are working through it. I get it. I get Taurus is working through their deep thoughts. You have too many. Honey, you got too many deep thoughts. <laughs> okay. Can we focus this, please? What is being presented to the world? I want to know what Taurus is actually, I'm telling you right now, if there's what you're presenting to the world that you're working on, but internally it's a whole other thing. Show me the Ace of Pentacles, please. Show me the Ace of Pentacles, please. I feel like your external, your external success is critical to your internal success. How can I? Show me the Ace of Pentacles, please. How you do on the surface is going to determine how well you do on the inside. Does that make sense? Okay. I know. Three of Swords, Dave of Wands. Okay. There's some heart space shit you're working through. Simple and easy. All right. Thank you. You could have done that a couple shuffles ago. <clears throat> like I said, I feel like how well you do on the surface to the world, to the world that sees Taurus, is going to determine how well you do on the inside. You can't seem to separate the two. So the good news is, is that as you work through one aspect of your life, the material world, the, the world that is presented on paper, the every, look, this is Taurus, this is what Taurus is all about, the more you are better in line with your internal self. I keep saying a back and forth between your private self and your external self. So the better you do in one, the better you do in the other. In other words, continue to work through your shadow side. Continue to work through your dark thoughts. Continue to work through your burden and your passion thoughts. Continue to work through any heartbreak. So if you have any lingering three sword stuff, work through it. Don't ignore it. The more you try to act like it don't exist, the worse it gets. So the more you address the pain, the more you can put that good energy, the healing energy towards your upfront world your material world, the world that people see. I should say, the world you allow them to see. It's a pentacle. Okay, so, as you fix one aspect of yourself internally, the more it shows externally. Okay, do you see how one raises the other? Okay, so, when you act like your pain doesn't exist, or your dark thoughts don't exist, your external world doesn't do very well because they exist simultaneously. You see what I'm saying? They exist simultaneously. This is, I'm looking at a complex Taurus. I'm looking at a very complex Taurus. On the forefront, you are, present a very clean, stable image. On the inside, you are doing heavy weight lifting, man. Like a lot of thought cleanup, a lot of moon energy cleanup, okay? You're doing better. Give yourself that trust. Give yourself that trust, okay? Give yourself that trust. As you work through that moon energy, that three of swords, your dark thoughts, all that, the heartbreak and the pain, the more, the better you do in the external world. In the external world, I'm sorry, I'm very tired. I'm very, very tired. Show me the Knight of Pentacles, please. <clears throat> Show me the, okay. I have, uh, there we go. The Empress, that's you, baby. Slowly but surely, you are coming into yourself, man. You are coming into yourself. 
That's you. Show me the Nine of Pentacles, please. Some of you are taking care of your physical aspects, like as in your physical health. Some of you, it's money. Okay? Some of you, it's like self-doubt. Okay, about the direction of your life and where is it going. That seems to be critical for some of you. Show me that Nine of Pentacles, please. Damn. Damn. You're putting so much context and flavor into yourself, it's not even funny. Show me that. Okay. Okay. Seven and seven. The Seven of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Okay. There's something you're not ready to prepare. You're... You, okay. You are trying to... I'm telling you, you are fixing your internal world so you can fix your external world. Okay. There are options. Sometimes your mind drifts to options and you cut it off. You're like, I'm not ready for those options yet. You are not ready for those options yet. Okay, you're not ready for those options yet. Whatever those options are, Seven of Cups could be in love, yeah? But for the most part, you are getting back in touch with yourself. This is critical. And the more you work through your private, difficult stuff, the better you do. Have you noticed that correlation yet? The more you work on your internal stuff, your external does better as well. Do you see that? Do you see the connection? Okay? But you're not ready. Sometimes you occasionally think of options, possibly in love, probably. But you say, nope, not yet. Not ready. And you're working on yourself. You're working on yourself, okay? But it's there. You are preparing your energy, Taurus. You're preparing your energy. You're preparing your freaking energy, okay? This is what you do. This is what you do best. Preparing yourself for whatever. Whatever your goal is, that's what you prepare yourself for. This is what Taurus does. All right, let's keep it going. The fear is taking that risk. <clears throat> Two of Wands, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta make a decision eventually to take a risk on what? What is it? What's the risk? What's the risk? What? <laughs> New love. Called it. Ace of Cups. New love. <sighs> yep, sorry. Yeah, and your passion trying to keep it in check, it does cause you anxiety about how much... You, sometimes it causes you anxiety how much fire you have. But yes... Taking a chance on new love. Told you, you were preparing yourself. You are preparing yourself, baby. Look at you over here being a badass right there. Look at me, bitch. Yes. 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 I am on Team Taurus right now. Look at you. You are preparing yourself to take this risk, to take this chance, to make a decision in new love. I found you. Okay, Two of Cups. What is supporting you? There is a soul connection energy here that speaks to you. Uh, <laughs> let me know if it's a Cappy. You might have some Capricorn in your chart. You might be one of a uh, double or triple Earth, even. <clears throat> Show me the devil, please. 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 You have done some healing about what toxicity is. You have Four of Swords with the devil. You know you don't want some devil shit. Right? That codependency, sticky icky, ain't nobody wanting to do that. that. Do you see how hard you are working on your single independent energy? This is what you don't want. You've already given it a damn good thought. Four of Swords. You've already done this. You've already... I don't want that. I don't want codependency. I don't want toxicity. I don't want someone constantly leaning on me. I want a proper Two of Cups. Yes! Okay. Okay, okay, so this is what is supporting you. I'm telling you, you did your dark night of the soul shit. You went through the moon energy and you worked this out. I told you, you're preparing yourself. That's why I kept getting layers and layers of cards. You are preparing yourself for true love, my friend. Okay, no. What is this two of cups? Is there an indication? Oh, oh, Stop it! No, don't stop it. This is fucking gorgeous. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. That was unexpected. It's like, third card. Didn't see that. I saw these two. Third. Okay. The lovers. Six of pentacles. Death. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just when I think I know you, it's like, and Tora's like, honey, you, you don't know me. Oh! 
You're right. You're right. I don't know you sometimes. I swear to God. Okay. And like everybody you've ever met in your life, right? People take your energy for granted until one day they can't. Okay. Two of cups. Yeah. You. There's a soul bond connection here. It's supporting you. This is supporting you to clean your stuff up, to engage your energy back out into the world in the correct way. At some point you consider, ah, I'm not ready yet. No, I'm not ready. And I agree with you. You're working on yourself and this is some serious heavyweight lifting you are doing to prepare your personal energy for love but it's coming and you know it's a decision here you're kind of afraid like i said it's hard to take a risk right but it's also but the idea of it also gets your heart going i swear to god i can feel your heart going it's the fool to make a decision in new love you are preparing your soul you've made a very strong determination about what it is that you do not want and you ain't want this you ain't want that sticky, icky, nasty ass energy. Nobody wants that. You want a proper two of cups. I support you. You support me. <clears throat> the lovers six is a heavy marker for some of you is June and June. And then also we have, and then now death is here twice. Okay, double confirmation, possibly a Scorpio. We also have Capricorn, Cancer, uh, heavy water energy here. But um, there is a balance here, quite possibly. This also could just be the representation of dating. Six of Pentacles for, you know, dating. A little bit here and there. You might have a lover, um, but that's that's not it. It's, it's, it's something else, man. It's something else. Show me, show me this death. Show me this death. So I need a stronger definition of that death. There's a balance here. There's a balance here with the soul connection. It's here twice. The lover's over the two of cups. There's a balance here with the soul connection. Show me the death, please. Show me death. 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 Why is that here? Five of Wands. It, it, <laughs> it ain't over. It ain't over. It looks over. It's not over. Whatever that is, it ain't over. So this is the person. There's a soul connection here. Let's switch up the energy. There's a soul connection here. It, yeah. Tower and Six of Swords. More of that Scorpio energy. <clears throat> it's not over. That fight's not over. That fight's not over. Honey, you're going to fight for that Two of Cups. I don't know how else to put it. You're going to fight for that Two of Cups. You've made a very strong determination of what it is you don't want and what is supporting you. What is literally supporting you is this Two of Cups energy with the lovers. A balance, a Six of Pentacles balance with this lover. Six is a heavy marker for some of you. June. Five. It's like, oh, that ain't over. That ain't over. Like some of you are saying, that ain't over. That ain't over. Ooh. If you had a lover's energy that was ended, <laughs> honey, you just bypassed three of cups. <laughs> you just completely bypassed the three of cups. Oh my God, this is supporting you. This is driving you. This is driving you. Something's not over. Something's not over. You, you, you got your head down and you're charging on this. Show me the chariot. What are your obstacles then? Is the pacing? Show me the chariot, please. Show me the chariot. Show me the chariot. Show me the chariot. <clears throat> Excuse me, show me the chariot. And again, if you experience loss, I am sorry. Again, if you experience physical loss in this realm, okay, this might be a very strong motivator for you. This, that, that might have, this is for some of you, not all of you. Some of you lost someone physically, family member, closeness, okay, a sibling maybe, a friend. And it's like, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? See, there's that five, you're going to, you're, <laughs> there is a fight here, but you're going to do it. It's now here twice. Oh my goodness. It's now here twice. <sighs> May. Five and six, five and six, May. May, June, May, June, May, June. The chariot moving forward. You are going to bypass this sense of argument or this sense of pride. You, there's a queen of pentacles you have in sight. The one who is nurturing, caring, supportive, loving. Uh, also a maternal figure. Does not have to be. You're moving towards this person with some speed. I have to admit, Taurus. Uh, wow. That is, so why is it an obstacle then? Why is it an obstacle? I see your willingness. Like your energy is really strong. Your energy is really strong. The communication, the desire to communicate is there. So why is that an obstacle then? Confidence. I don't see why that's an obstacle. Why is that an obstacle? Why is the, where's the resistance coming from? Show me the five of wands, please. Getting the nerve up. 
Page of Wands. Getting the nerve up. The smallest representation of nerve. Your confidence is there, baby. Don't doubt it. Your, your confidence is there. Don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. Okay, your confidence is there. Don't doubt yourself. You've done all this work. You've done all this work. It's gorgeous. It's fierce. It's fierce, baby. Don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. No. You got the... You, you wonder if it will move forward. It's taken nerve, and you're going to supply that nerve. It's hardly an obstacle, if I'm being honest with you. Show me the High Priestess, please, as the future outcome. You already know. You already know the outcome. So... <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. There's that Ace of Swords for you again. Strong truth and a pathway. This person is looking past the ending. You are looking at them looking past the ending. It is... it, Honey, okay. Can we get... Can I narrow this down? Why... This is why your videos run so long. I see extended timelines for you all the time. And that's... Show me the High Priestess, please. This has been cooking. This has been... Ooh, look at you. 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 You know, and you confident as fuck. You confident as fuck. Look at you. You so confident. Show me that king of wands, please. You already know. You already know. Your confidence is... It's not hilarious. It's kind of like... Taurus's confidence is like phenomenal here. But it's not confidence as an ego. See, god dang it. Too many. No. Spirit, seriously. Show me the king of wands. Sorry, I don't need to be dropping all these cards. It's like every... Chariot. Moving forward with confidence. You're moving forward with confidence. Your outcome is solid. <laughs> okay, but the thing is, you already know that. <laughs> Baby, you already know. Look at you. I love it. I love your energy. I can't even begin to... I love your energy. I love your determination. I love your inspiration. I love your movement. Everything's gorgeous. Look at you. You already know. You already know. Whoever this is, you're going to get them. If you had an ending with this person, you're going to fight for it. You're going to fight for them. You're only, your confidence is high. The obstacle might be a pacing. You might be wondering if this person's on board. You know, because you have a vision, there is nervousness here. But your confidence in moving this forward, your confidence in yourself, <clears throat> it's 100% the parent. It is 100%, I'm being told, okay. <clears throat> All right, show me the underlying energy here is death. The underlying energy here, again, if you experience loss, I'm sorry. Okay. And in it, there's a sense of rebirth in you. Is it? Is that what happened? Is there a sense of rebirth in you because of the loss? You have such a strong sense of finding yourself. It's... It's inspirational, Taurus. Okay, something's happening. Show me the death, please. Show me death. Why is that here? The underlying energy here. I've seen it twice. 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 Show me death. Why is that the underlying energy for Taurus, please? <clears throat> there is a rebirth here. A sense of renewal. For some of you, 13 is also a significant marker. It does not have to be. I'm seeing heavy references to April, May, and June. Four, five, six. Five is your power number, by the way. Show me death, please. In time, you're trying by your birthday. My son, your happiness is right here. Okay. In an ending, sometimes we find our beginnings. Oh my god, this is so... Wow. <sighs> wow. This, this, with this ending, possibly, could literally be a Scorpio, but with this situation is your ultimate happiness. This is... Oh my god. Taurus. This is one for the ages, my love. This is one for the ages. You have your soul bond. You have your soul contract. You will be taking action towards this reunification. Oh! You fierce. Oh. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No. Go, Taurus. I'm Team Taurus right now. Look at you go. Look at you go. And you're taking action towards this reunification, the reconciliation, in order to bring justice and balance to yourself in this situation. This is your happiness. Your long-term, the happiest card in the fucking deck, baby. Sun, new love, all of it. Sometimes with endings come beginnings, and this one's strong. You've been preparing yourself for it. You've earned it. Taurus, comment as you see fit. Take care. Be well.